Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Unfazed, and my name is Fazon, and the 2021 rules for Science Olympiad have just been released. And in this video, I'm going to be going over the ins and outs of the rules for Science Olympiad Mousetrap Vehicle. If you're new to the channel, I post videos on Science Olympiad every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So if you're interested in any of that, make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be updated every single time I post a new video. Before we get into what has changed in the Science Olympiad Mousetrap Vehicle Rules, let's talk a little bit about what stayed the same. So in essence, Mousetrap Vehicle is still the same event. You're still building a mousetrap car that has a wheel base within a 40 by 40 centimeter box and your mousetrap car is still only able to be powered by a single mousetrap and a bunch of other logistics stayed the same. So like your lever arm is and your lever arm string are the only things that can extend past the dowel rod or 0.5 centimeters past the dowel rod. And then there are a few other minor changes that are not changes, but minor details that stay the same. As for what did change, boy, do we have a lot to talk about. Firstly, in the new Science Olympiad Mousetrap Vehicle Rules for the 2021 season, you now have three runs, not two, three runs. And instead of eight minutes, you now have 10 minutes to do all of those three runs. And the best part is, especially for new beginners, is that speed is no longer a factor. You don't have to worry about how fast your mousetrap car is going so long as your car is accurate. In fact, out of those three runs, two of them are scored. Not one, two of them are scored and they are added together. So let's say in one run, your car was 50 centimeters off the target distance. And in your other two runs, your car was 60 centimeters off the second run and 70 centimeters off the third run. Your score would be 50, 50 centimeters off plus 60 centimeters off because those are the two lowest scores you got or closest to the target. Those two would be added together. Your score would be 110. Now, obviously that's not a great score, but it's just an example. I'm just trying to say, or trying to show you how time, not a factor. No need to worry about it. When we, when we last year, previous years, you all had to focus on getting that weight down, getting your car to under sub 200, getting your car to go as fast as possible to 12 and hoping that your car could beat out every other type of or every other competitor's car not only in distance but speed so the science olympiad committee taking out that restriction is so much better for new beginners but i also see it as them trying to make it more competitive at the at the uh, more competitive level I sh or more competitive with more experienced teams because with more experienced teams, speed is what set apart the good teams from the great teams. The great teams were super accurate and super fast. Now you don't have to be super fast. And when you're not going fast, it's a lot easier to go or be a lot more accurate. So in essence, Science Olympiad has made Mousetrap Vehicle a ton easier on you in terms of being able to focus on less and just focus on accuracy. Don't worry about the speed anymore. Not as big of a problem or issue you should be focusing on. It's all about accuracy. In fact, it's more about accuracy than ever before. You have to be not only accurate, but consistent. You have to replicate that good score in at least two out of three runs to be competitive. Now I just wanted to quickly go over a new type of mechanism for stopping your car that will be great for this year because time is no longer a factor. So in previous videos, I showed you this mousetrap car and I showed you that I had a 
spring and wing nut braking mechanism. Hopefully you can see that. I have a spring and wing nut braking mechanism. And this mechanism was totally great for mousetrap vehicle the past year in the past, and even in high school mousetrap vehicle, because it stopped your car super fast. But, and the accuracy was, it was pretty good. But now that you don't have to worry about time, you can make something even better. And I'm going to show you this mousetrap car. I'm going to go over it more in depth in a future video. So if you want to see that, make sure you comment down below or you like the video so that I know you want to see that video. But very briefly, I just want to go over that this oscillation mechanism is going to be what's going to win you your competition. Oscillation is basically where your car, okay, let me, let, me, let me wind this up a little bit just so I can show you. So basically, I have this car wound up right here. So now this car is going, the wheels are going to rotate. And because this string is connected to the drive axle, after this lever arm has completely used up all its energy, the car will still roll because it has a little bit of momentum. And while it rolls, the wheels will rotate the string and then it'll roll backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards until it has zero energy. This is the perfect braking mechanism because there is zero skidding. This is the best mechanism possible that you could implement into your mousetrap vehicle. And I 100% mean this. This mechanism is what will win you your competition if you're able to implement it properly and design it and uh, be consistent with using it. I 100% guarantee you if, you if you're able to do something with oscillation, you will have zero skidding. It will be super reliable and super great because time is not a factor. You can take as much time as you want with your car. Everything is great when you use oscillation in these circumstances. Obviously, if time was a factor, then this would not be viable. But again, if you want to see a more in-depth detail of me going over this mousetrap car, make sure you comment down below and hit the like button so I know that you want to see that video. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit the like button. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel for new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. But with that said, I'll catch you guys next time.